Hello and welcome. As you can tell by the title, I'm the Obsessed Movie Man. Oh man. Finally, I get to review Frozen. Here we go. Wow, Disney has really outdone themselves. Here's our story. Elsa, played by India Menzel, and Anna, played by Kristen Bell, are sisters and are both children to the king and queen. Elsa also has a special gift, the ability to freeze things, create snow, and so forth. The parents try to suppress her powers and cut her off from not only the kingdom, but also her sister. Like in many Disney films, the parents die, leaving Elsa to be the future queen. During her coronation, her powers are revealed and Elsa flees the kingdom, which she inadvertently freezes. Now, Anna sets out on a quest to not only bring back Summer, but also bring back her sister. The animation is very nice with the look of traditional anime Disney characters, but in 3D form. The music? My god, this is fantastic. It's been such a long time since I've seen a musical that has no bad songs at all. All of them are catchy memorable, most notably Let It Go, which is by far the most impressive visual sequence in the entire film. All the characters are likable and entertaining, especially Olaf, the snowman, who provides great comic relief and occasional words of wisdom. There's not really much negative to say, but I guess if I had to say something negative, it would be that I didn't think there was a need for a villain, and that the villain is also kind of bland. But that is really nitpicking. Frozen is a wonderful animated film that truly captures the spirit and charm of past Disney fairy tale films. Is it one of the best, like most critics say? Quite possibly, and that is why you should check it out. So there are my thoughts for Frozen in a, in a nutshell. I could talk about it in a little bit more though. I didn't know, when I first saw the trailer for this, I did not know what to expect. I thought it looked, I gotta be frank, it looked stupid, I thought it was, because the first teaser trailer was just the um, the Olaf character and the reindeer on ice, and I, I knew it was a short, but I was just not that interested. But then more of it, news popped up, the trailers got better, um, the trailers got, did get better, they showed, um, like, the, what the story was about, they announced that the person doing, one of the person, one of the songwriters did music for the Book of Mormon, and India Menzel, who many people know from the, from the Broadway show Wicked, she ended up being in the film, she did the, the character Elsa. And so, it was getting tons of great, tons of great reviews. So I had to see. I just haven't had the time, but I finally got a chance to see it just two days ago at this one theater where that was where it was still showing, and it was well worth it. Frozen, like I said, is a fantastic animated film. Probably the best animated film that came out this year. Note that. The Lego Movie. I haven't seen the Lego Movie yet, but the Lego Movie came out um, just this year. I believe it came out this year, 2014. Whereas Frozen came out 2013. So I think Frozen. It's a safe bet. It it actually it's no bet. I know for sure it's going to be nominated at the Oscars for Best Animated Picture. Will it win? I don't know. I'm told there. I'm told there are some pretty other good animated films that came out. So th there are a lot of cool things like the Olaf character. I thought I was not going to like this guy at all. I thought he was going to be annoying, but this was a really well thought out character who kind of has an origin. He's a bit like Frosty the Snowman. Like everyone knows this character. Like apparently the the, ch the sisters grew up knowing about Olaf. And so when he comes to life, it, it's basically like Frosty the Snowman. And he's basically in love with the Summer, but he doesn't know that Summer is what would ultimately kill him. And that was something I was actually wondering, if they were going to kill off um, Olaf. I would had mixed feelings. Originally, I thought that they should. I think that if they were going to bring Summer back, and there was a scene in the trailer, I'm not spoiling, Olaf actually says some people are worth melting for. So I think they were, I thought they were really indicating that he was going to melt in the movie, but he didn't. I, I, I probably just spoil it, but you know, usually after I give my reviews, I go into the spoiler territory. Look, looking back, I'm glad they didn't kill him off. It actually made sense how he, I'm not going to say how, but how he continued to survive. So it made sense. I liked, um, the Kristoff character who was raised by trolls, and the trolls look... <sighs> Did anyone ever see the, um, 
if you watch the Nostalgia Critic, if you've ever saw the movie Troll in Central Park, the trolls in this movie look a lot like the trolls from a Troll in Central Park. It, whether you've seen the movie or you've seen the Nostalgia Critic's review, that's what the trolls look like in this. They're oddly similar. But anyway, I like the Kristoff character who's raised by trolls, and he even has this kind of weird relationship with his reindeer, where basically he talks for the reindeer itself. It's just kind of funny. I like, I like all the characters. Elsa is, she's doing this basically. She does, she's hiding and locking herself away because she doesn't want to, um, she doesn't want to basically cause trouble. She thinks her powers are just going to bring more harm because there was a traumatic incident that happened when they were, when she and her sister were kids. And her, as a, so as, where Elsa wants to stay isolated, Anna wants to be, wants to be social. She wants to see the world because apparently she's been cooped up in this kingdom for so long and she wants to experience life. And she, she's just an entertaining character and I really like it. I like, again, how they keep the designs of traditional, dis, kind of like what Disney character, 2D Disney characters look like, and but they just put them in three-dimensional form. Is exactly what they did with Tangled, and I like that. There was something I wanted to bring up. The, this prob, this might have been unintentional, but I'm and I may be reading into it. But there is a one scene where I feel like they are making a reference to 1933's King Kong. Um, it's the scene where El not Elsa, Anna and Kristoff are climbing down a cliff, like they're on a rope climbing down because they're trying to get away from this giant snowman, and the giant snowman is on the cliff and he starts pulling the rope back up so until he gets the two of them, and then eventually they get off, they drop. I feel like that is a reference to King Kong. Again, I could be reading too much into this, but... That seemed eerily familiar. Um, the songs were great, like Will You Build a Snowman, the summer song. Again, Let It Go, which is fantastically sung by Andia Menzel. Again, the only the only negative problem was I didn't think this film really needed a villain. I mean, in a sense, it did, but it also I think it didn't. Alright, yeah, this is going to be like the last part of the video I'm going to be talking about, so if you haven't seen the movie and you don't want spoilers, so just click off. Click off now. Alright, so basically what happens is, well, at the beginning of the film, Anna's in this relationship with this prince, um, Hans, and they literally, literally fall in love and decide to get married in one day. And actually, this is kind of funny, they, a lot of people make, like, who encounter what Anna, they make jokes about, jokes to her, and they're like, really, you're one day and you're already going to marry her? So I feel like that's Disney poking fun at themselves for a lot of the old cartoons they did, which is kind of funny. But during the film, Anna gets struck in the heart by ice, not like impaling or anything, but it's magic, and it's going to slowly freeze her. And the only way to break the spell is f f by an act of true love. And so they assume it's true love's first kiss. So she races back um, to Hans, who's running the kingdom while she's away. And she thinks that if Hans kisses her, she'll be saved. Well, it turns out Hans has another reason to be in the kingdom. He actually is trying to obtain the kingdom for himself and kill off the two sisters. That's not actually what I thought was going to happen. I thought what was going to happen was that he was going to kiss her and nothing happened and it was going to be revealed that, oh, it's Kristoff who is the true love. But, so, there's just... I didn't really like the whole... I don't think, because the, the whole villain thing literally, I think, comes out of left field and I don't think it... Or here's where it does work. It works when Dan is about to kill Elsa, and Elsa, like he has his sword and he's about to strike Elsa down, but Anna comes in and raises her hand to the sword, destroying the sword. And right when she turns into a frozen sculpture, 
and everyone thinks that Anna is frozen forever and Elsa cries, but they realize, and I, this is actually a nice twist, the act of true love doesn't have to be like a kiss from someone that you're in love with. True love could also be love for a friend, love for a family member, and that, the act of, that was an act of love, what Anna did, and she um, is free from her frozen state. So I guess in a sense if you were going to do that, you would need a villain. But I don't think you needed to... There sort, there sort of was a villain, actually, in this. There was this... Um, I forgot his name. This this guy, they they kept saying he was from Weaseltown, but it was Wesselton. This older guy. I don't, I don't know. I think they could have probably just used him instead. But, I like, again, I think the Dan... The, not Dan. The Hans thing is basically just for a twist. But other than that, I have no problems with Frozen. I think this is a damn good movie, a damn good children's film, and I highly recommend it. If it's still in theaters, go see it. Um, if it's out on DVD, why are you watching my review? Go buy it. So, that's my review of Frozen. It gets a very rare five snowmen out of five. Thank you for watching. This is an OMM review. This is OMM, signing out.